Hey, this summer we've been doing a series in our morning services on bedrock beliefs, things that are absolutely necessary and important to what we believe in this day and age and in every day and age actually, and things that maybe make us a little more unique than some other churches. And uh, this coming Sunday, we're going to talk about the theme of the centrality of the local church. We're going to talk about why the local church is important. Now, we have the two young guys in the back, and uh, let's just see what they think about what God is doing in the world today related to the church. Well, I mean, God has uh, instituted the church shortly after Christ ascended and promised to build it. Jesus promised to build that church, and he is still fulfilling that promise even today. So until Christ comes to bring his church back home, he is still going to continue to work, continue to use it, despite maybe what the uh, popular opinions of our world may seem to think or seem to say. And absolutely. And really the church and its main purpose is to really do the ministry of Christ on the earth. The, the church is spoken of as the body of Christ. Uh, we are to show the same attributes that Christ showed during his ministry. I think of the way that Jesus treated the leper. Uh, when he reached out to him, or how he fed the 5,000, uh, or how he treated his disciples, we too should also treat people in the same way. And the way Jesus related to people in his ministry is the way that we should relate to each other. If we do that, if we use our gifts together that the Lord has given us, we'll reflect Christ to the world, uh, we'll shine his light, and we'll really be the church that Christ would have us to be, his bride reflecting his glory in the world. That's what I think of when I think of the centrality of the church is to do the work of Christ while we're here. Do you think it's possible? I mean, I think one thing people often will say to themselves, well, you know, I'm a believer, but I don't need the church. I don't need to go to church. I don't, I can just worship God out in the forest somewhere. Um, how would we answer somebody that would say that I don't need the church? I'm, I'm fine without it. Well, there's a couple ways to answer it. I think, uh, first of all, you have to look at how God views the church, and then I think you need to look at how the uh, the formation of the church and how every believer from the inception of it viewed the church. In uh, Ephesians 5, uh, we often go to that passage talking about the relationship between a husband and a wife, but it's likened to the relationship between Christ and the church. And husbands are to love their wives as Christ loved the church. And it's very specific that, that Jesus loved the church and he died for the church to sanctify the church. Like his ministry on this on this earth, on this earth um, the church that he established is the church that God loves. I mean, this is God's plan for the world. It's not something that was made up by humans. It's not something that we decided, oh, we should probably put a church together because that'd be a good thing. God established the church. Christ died for the church. And it's very important to God. And as you look through the book of Acts, you see as the apostles, as they go on their various journeys, as they're meeting individuals, they're not just sharing the gospel with people and letting them on their own. They're establishing churches in every town. So the church is, is central to what God is doing, and it's how God is working to grow um, his believers, to grow us more to be like Christ, and also to spread the gospel to the world. And so I think if you can both view the church in God's light and you see how it was how the church has been important through all of history I think it both points to why it's still important for us today yeah and also Jesus he prayed uh, that we may be one as he and the father are one uh, he set the perfect example of unity uh, the Bible speaks of us bearing one another's burdens and that's how we do it by coming together um, forsaking not the assembling of ourselves together but but edifying one another admonishing one another and all of these different things psalms hymns spiritual songs which is why we do the things that we do uh, it's, it's directly worship toward god but it's also the edification of the body so that we can glorify god more in that because when people are growing in christ and when they're strengthening in each other that's when they're in a place where they can glorify god the most